everybody, <laughs> have you ever had a beautiful family dinner? And you know everything's going all right, and then pretty soon it goes south, and it turns out and turns into an almost an all-out war between everybody. Uh, I'm not talking about Thanksgiving. I'm talking about Taco Night. Yeah, uh, I guess I'm not the only one, you know, who uses a skillet method to to do tacos. And you know, when you start putting your ingredient in your tacos, and you can you do your meat, you do your salsa, you do you know your lettuce or whatever you put in there. And when you come to eat it, it falls everywhere and then you know everything is a mess on the table and everything uh, so yesterday I was in the grocery aisle and I saw some taco uh, I guess you know those boxes you get uh, like what soft shell tacos spices to put in your meat and some salsa that's never really good uh, well today I'm gonna try to do uh, I guess taco kebabs to uh, I guess help save uh, a lot of family uh, dinners all right so pretty easy to do also like my last kebab recipe I guess chop yourself I like to use green onions because I don't know the taste is a bit uh, milder I could say <laughs> there you go uh, yeah it's uh, the whole of it and of course you know if you want it to mix I guess better with the meat you're gonna need to uh, chop it really like finely is that even a word finely? anyway really thinly I guess I could say also you know another one to give a course in the English language <laughs> alright so uh, yeah it's not too much there you go add that to your ground meat there you go Let's check here. Alright, it's not not too frozen. <laughs> Add a egg yolk. Uh, some garlic. Because you know me, I love garlic. There you go. Just cut it, I guess, horizontally. Like that. So you get really small and then vertically like that there you go then you just chop tiny tiny little cubes I guess it's the uh, similar technique as you can use with the onions you know a lot of chefs TV chefs like to show you the technique there you go and you could add a bit of peppers to this and is it the one? Yeah, there's a salsa. This is the taco seasoning. Now, the box I had makes, uh, what, 12 tacos, I guess. But, since I'm only gonna make six, I'm just, whoo, yeah. I'm only gonna be using half of it. Let me just bring that there. Yeah, maybe not even half, since, you know, it's got a lot of cumin in there, and I'm not a big fan of cumin. Uh, I wonder if I should add a bit of the salsa. I will see what it gives. All right, so I'm gonna mix that up, and uh, we'll see if it's uh, you know wet enough or what. If it's not wet enough, well, I'm gonna add a bit of the salsa, and uh, I guess I'm gonna just let that sit until I come back home um, this evening. So yeah, pretty easy. Get the camera. Pretty easy <laughs> once again. And uh, yeah, we'll see how the, these fare at supper time. My meat has been, uh, I guess, marinating all afternoon. Look at that. Oh my god. Yeah, I can't say it smells like tacos right now. <laughs> it just smells really good. Uh, yeah, just uh, two little things here. Uh, yeah, a lot of people over here where I'm from actually do this when they make barbecue. Uh, basically, it's like it looks like a potato potato scallop. It's uh, potatoes cut fairly thin with uh, some onions again, fairly thin, all mixed up together. Uh, layers, if you want, I guess. Uh, some butter, and you just close the paper foil like that. You know, when you create a little, I guess a little. So I call it a little basket or something <laughs> like that, and 
since it's not big enough, I just wrap it in another one, like that. There you go. <laughs> and you cook that maybe 20 minutes. Should be pretty good once it's done. There you go. And before I start to uh, put my meat on my skewers, uh, I'm gonna be cooking some onions also like this. Uh, you know, to uh, kind of add to my tacos. And yeah, this is how I do it. I like to uh, like, turn my stick like this as I'm pushing through and I find it helps uh, I don't know prevent the onion from splitting when you uh, do this like that and if you don't want your uh, little sticks to burn put some uh, aluminum paper on there I don't have enough with this one but I'll put on some on later on and you know Put some oil on there and basically you just put them like the kebabs on the grill and they should be pretty awesome too in my tacos so here's my meat looks pretty good uh yeah let's uh try this stick this on my little skewers as you can see my tacos aren't really big you know like almost half a skewer <laughs> The small little tacos and I didn't put the, the salsa in the end so let's just try to divide this into six I guess six uh, kebabs yeah like that maybe I'll get less but you know if I get less I'll get less I don't really mind <clears throat> main thing again you want your kebabs to be all the same size or thickness I should say or else they won't cook at the same time. There you go. Just giving, I guess, a little massage, oil massage to my onions there. Make them, you know, all oily and make sure they don't stick too much on the grill. Like that, like that, and that, there you go. And of course, you know, I've put some oil on my uh, meat sticks so they don't, you know, stick too much to the grill. But again, you know, with the grill, if you don't uh, like turn around or play too much with your meat, uh, shouldn't stick at all, or uh, shouldn't be too much of sticking going on. Anyway, put my little, I guess, fire guards right there, and I guess now I'll see you in the shed. All right, let's put, I guess, my onions right here. Oh, baby. Is it gonna be good? I think so. One meat stick. Two meat stick. Yeah, a little fire is perfectly normal. Yeah, it's not just being out. <laughs> Where am I? There you go. And then there. And a nice meat, meat stick. There you go. Now, just close the lid before it all burns up. And yeah, again, uh, not even five minutes each side. And should be all right. Up, uh, I guess cooking them with the the lid open. Let me just. Ooh, oh, <laughs> yeah. This one's a bit burnt. Them with the lid open, and uh, yeah, let's just turn them a little bit. Oh man, the smells in this. And I ended up losing my uh, little foil of paper that I put on. Ah, uh, no biggie, you know. Oh, there you go. Like that should be pretty good. <laughs> yeah, another uh, maybe, what, four minutes and it should all be done. Maybe not the bigger onions. But I'll just leave them there for maybe uh, two minutes more. Should be alright after that. Alright, so everything is cooked. Just ah. shutting my tank. 
There you go. Fire went out. Closing up everything. Now, just grab my potatoes. Onions. So just let that cool down and uh, yeah, let's eat. All right, so everything is cooked. Uh, yeah, here's my hard my kebabs. <laughs> and let's add some uh, sour cream. That's cooking walking around, by the way. Uh, let's add some salsa. A bit of lettuce and let's split the uh, kebab in half put that there maybe and yeah it worked <laughs> let's put some onions and yeah you know what tonight we're eating with our hands yeah beautiful onions and what else I guess that's it and uh, where's my spoon there you go have yourself a good helping of a uh, Beautiful potato scallops, I guess. We would put some cream cheese, uh, sour cream on that also. And just roll that up. Yay, passes the test! <laughs> well, I guess uh, the only thing that's left now is uh, the taste test. Mmm. Actually, I'm happy to see it. It is a success. It really does taste like tacos. <laughs> All right, so yeah, if you know one, I had the, I guess the mishap of um, eating regular tacos. Try this taco kebabs. See everybody, and uh, yeah, I'm off to eat. <laughs>